The drawing you see in front of you was causing some grief for one of our GCAD Plus users. GCAD Plus was shutting down and restarting when he was doing some new editing work on the drawing. Our usual approach when faced with something like that is to just select everything, right click and so I'm going to copy it to the clipboard and then start a brand new drawing without a template and paste everything from the clipboard into this new environment. So I'll specify an insertion point, pop it in, zoom extents and there's our drawing. We save it under a new name and hopefully can continue to work. But in this case, that did not happen. That didn't improve anything at all. We then tried a different approach, which did resolve the issue, which we think is just caused by a glitch in the computer. It was a corrupt file. What we did to fix the problem was go to our DXF tools and DXF out, and we'll put it on the desktop here. I'll actually overwrite the test drawing. So we're writing it out as a DXF file and a DXF file is a standard ASCII text file. There's not, it's not a CAD file, but from it we can recreate a CAD file. So we save it and that's just one simple text file. Well, just for interest, I've opened that in WordPad, opened the file and you see it's just text. There's it's at this stage the DXF file says set a layer called plan symbol and put a polyline with the appropriate vertices in it. So it's quite a standard file and hopefully there can't be any um, peculiarities in it. Well, having generated that DXF file, we then use file and DXF and DXF in and pick up that test DXF file and in it comes and you'll notice it even imports a layout view as you can see here we've got all of the geometry that we need and there it is so we could save this drawing and that's what we did and we were able to work further on it and I'll just move to that next well here's the final testing that I did the original drawing is on the left the one that came in via that DXF and rather than work with it, I made a copy of it and then started playing with it and adding extra information to the design. So the original was just copied, worked on, and for a period of two or three hours, the GCAD Plus did not misbehave at all. There was no crash and shutdown and restart, which is incredibly frustrating. So the error we think was simply in the computer file created and used by our user. This is a method that you can use if you strike that particular problem. Well, I hasten to add that we get very few reports of that kind. Don't forget that you have got that incremental save feature. If I click on it, this will become test drawing 01 and it increments each time you use that. So if you do that, when you're working on complex CAD drawings, quite often over several days, it's well worth doing that because if you happen to get some sort of glitch, you can always go back and uncover one of those earlier drawings and that's of course done with file and recover a backup file and some notes here tell you how to go about that. So we're trying, along with the fact that GK Plus auto saves every 10 minutes we're trying to guard against problems of the kind that uh, we've outlined in this little movie